can always reference back the diagram to know where we are, where we let, where where we are, uh, what's what's left for us to do. <clears throat> so, I think so that we can just be. Let me just bring that uh, diagram again. So we are told that in the spoke VPC, this is what we need to do. So we will do that immediately after we finish the master VPC. The master VPC on the TGW on the TGW private zone, so we need to do this. So before we even move to the VPCs routing, let's look at the TGW table here. So you see that we have a TGW. So in the TGW spoke route table, what are we supposed to do? We've propagated both these is yes. We can see in the spoke route table, the 15 network and the 10 network. We're going to confirm that. And we need to then create a static route that goes to the TGW master, master attachment. Bear with, uh, follow on with me. You know why we have to do this? Because if you look at the spoke VPC, the only, we have the default because the this is spoke. It needs to, the only thing it knows about because this is uh, the 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 organization, the company, they have small, smaller uh, units out there and they get their resources from the head office. So the master account is like the head office. So they point all their routes, but if they try to, if they, if they need to reach any services on the on the head, head office, they, they send the traffic there. They need to go to the internet, they send the traffic there, but we are just interested in internet traffic at this moment, at this point in time. So you see that we have a default, a default route going there. And also in the TGW, we have a default route going there. Excellent. And the same thing for the availability zone two. So once we have that, then we can see that in the master account, we have a default gate, a, a default route, sorry, going to the NAT gateway in AZ1. While we have a default route going to the NAT gateway in AZ2. Do you see that? And we have the 15 network going to the TGW ID. Now, don't let me rush you here. Let me do that. I'll come back and explain this part again. So for the static routes, we go to the routes. It's not good. We can see this is, I've confirmed this. Now we can see it here. So we create a route because we're going to default. And besides, many, many of you, if you're wondering what this black hole is for, it's actually for if you have a, if you are trying to create a route, maybe you you discover some kind of uh, threat or some kind of security breach, but because you're just noticing that some traffic has been routed to a particular uh, 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 side or a particular network, you can put the network there and black hole it, or you can black hole it is just like a putting a refuse bin and throwing every every traffic into the refuse bin without affecting any other thing. So you can do that. So we we take the master's VPC just like we we saw on the diagram. So this is completed. And what do we need to do in the master account? We don't need to do anything in the master account. We have everything covered. So that's it. And in the so we don't really have anything to do here at the spoke account except for the VPC routing. So for the VPC routing, let us see what we need to do. We have two subnets. We have to subnet subnet one and subnet two. If we look at the route table, so let's just go to subnet one route table. I'm going to, uh, this is the local. Let me just take out all these things so so we don't confuse ourselves. Uh, like I don't want to, I don't want to move this thing too much, but I don't want to move it so that I don't disrupt uh, disrupt what you what your view is. But let me just explain. Now, look at this VPC pairing. This is from a previous, uh, I should have cleaned this up anyway, but this is from a previous uh, video that I did. Forget about this, this is not where we're going. Forget about this, this is not where we're going. Forget about this, this is not where we're going. Well, where we're going is this needs to change to the TGW because that is the, oh, let me tell it that way. Needs to change to the trans gateway. This is our trans gateway ID. Ignore the rest of it. Just ignore it. If I add my way, I'll just 
constant, but pre pretend as if you, you're not seeing all of this, right? So let's save our result. That is just what we want to do there. And the, and the other, you can see that this is associated with the first subnet. And the next thing we want to have is the subnet, subnet B. Let's go to the route table. I think they use the same, the same. Okay, they are, uh, uh, that's right, they should be, okay. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. They are, they are both, uh, they are both private subnet. It's just that they belong to different AZ. So they use the same route table doesn't still matter. So for that sake, I will have this also going towards uh, TGW, which is fine. This is what we just want to see. And that's fine. So when we come to the VPC on, in the master account, the, the two subnets that we have, which are the internet subnet and these. So what, what do we need to do here? What we need to do here is let's do the VPN subnet first. The VPN subnet, this is what we have. Again, uh, I should have taken all these out. So, update. So I have uh, a default gateway. I have a, a default route here going to IGW. This is not what I, oh, yeah. You know what? Let me just do something like this. That makes sense. So because uh, because I was just thinking, <laughs> if you look at this subnet, I was just thinking uh, I need to launch an instance in this subnet, and I will need to for testing sake. So I will need to SSH into that, and if I take out my my default route into TGW, am I going to start been thinking because I don't want to start doing something anyway, I'll pause the video anyway, but yeah, just another thought. So why not leave these as, you won't really do this in real production anyway, but this is, you understand when I do that now. So what we can just do, we had a route, we know this, it's the, the uh, uh, Google DNS, so slash 32, so we can test these to the internet. To the, to the TGW. And we will know if it's going to the TGW or not, because we'll look at the path, you'll see the path it's taking. So that makes sense, right? That's it, gateway. So let's do this. This makes sense. So that brought me to this. So I'm thinking I will leave this so that I can be able to log into it. And let me just do it. It's it, which goes to the CGW. So the internet traffic we'll be testing is that, is the 8888 cord 8. So this is for, so we go back to submit B and I uh, believe it should be the same thing. Okay, so this is different. So I have a different route table for, for, for submit B, even though I name it a public router, but it's a private. I know things are really been uh, been the other way around, around here, but you know, it's just a name, but the concept still applies. It, this is AZB, right? And because, you know, during the other labs, I changed this to this. So what we are actually trying to test is the it, 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 it plus two, So that's fine. So immediately we have these two done. This is the internet traffic. Now, one more thing, sorry, that I forgot to point out is, remember, I didn't do this, but this is what we should have done. And you, you know why this is there? You need a return traffic back to the spoke account. Imagine if by the time the internet traffic is coming, Coming from the spoke account, it goes to the it goes to to the to the uh, okay. Let me use let me use the diagram to explain. 
so as you follow. Internet traffic is coming from probability zone one, it goes through this, it says, oh, okay, you're pointing me to the TGW, fantastic. So the TGW, you receive the session, okay, I'm, at, I'm associated to this spoke route table. The spoke route table takes it, so okay, where are you going? I see you're going to 888. Okay, I see, okay, in my route table, I don't have 888, but I know anything, anything that I don't know about, I've been told to send it to the TGW. Cool. So the, TG, the traffic goes, the, the, next at, the, the next attachment to the TGW attachment of the master. Then they realize that the master is actually associated to a second route table, which is the TGW master route table. So it goes into the route table because it belongs to the same TGW ID anyway. So it looks at, oh, the master is associated to this, to this place. Okay, I can see, okay, if the master is, a, is associated to this place, I see that I have to send my traffic to the, to the masters, to the masters VPC, which is 10 network. So that's why it goes into this place. So when, by the time it gets here, you say, okay, where I'm actually going is 888. So does the master VPC route table knows about 888? The master, well, I don't know about 888, but I've been told that anything that I don't know about, I should send it to the NAT gateway in the easy one. Oh, cool. Okay, let me forward this down to NAT Gateway. NAT Gateway receives it not because the NAT Gateway is launched in a public subnet. It receives this and it says, well, I even me myself, I don't have a, a route to, I don't have a, a route for 88, but I do know that anything I don't know about, I've been hacked to send to the IGW and that's how it gets there. But when the traffic is coming back, because the destination the, the source that now turns to become destination of the spoke is this. So if this route is not there, it will not work because it doesn't have a return path. But then because the public subnet, which is our internet sub, subnet, does not is, uh, is not part of the subnet that was selected when the attachment is being created. That is why you see here, we have TGW ENI and not TWID. Don't doubt me. I just wanted to explain why we have that route because you know you might be wondering. So that's the reason for this route. And the same thing goes to B, which is this. So we move to internet traffic one, one just like I've explained. This is supposed because what of because of what we uh mm. and then somebody would be like wait what 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 are you doing this is this is not supposed to be this is this is not supposed to be going back to the tgw we just created a gate in that gateway this is supposed to be the not gateway and you know what yes you're right that should be the not gateway and this ATT should be going to because it's supposed to be the zeros anyway so this should be going to the NAT gateway that we've created just that we don't know which one is the easy one and which one is the easy two so we have to go back and check this uh, okay if i remember correctly i think the a okay we can check this then Ah, this is easy one, this is easy two. So easy one is the one on top here. Easy A and we have the easy B. Cool. But then because I don't know if the, the easy A ends with two A zero. So we want to go back to this place and make sure that we have the PV one And gateway. Ah, okay, see. So we can have so we know that 888 is not going to go here, but we're going to send it. We have a route for it. Now oh, that's cool. Ah, somebody was like, What are you doing? What's wrong with you? You just missed the key point. Yeah, 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 I know. And that's why I think I'm about, I think I was hearing some of your voices. And I had to like check what I was doing. 
So this is going to is B and cool. So then we can then go back to the internet. Let's do the first one, which is the internet zone. And we have something like this. And you see, these are the local one, these are the local one. Then we have a default gateway going to this, right? Yeah. So this is, I'm going to change this to, this is supposed to go to the internet. I'm just, so we're going to have this, add the two change it is because so that we can then know that we don't have a default route going to internet gateway so that's fine now this 15 network needs to go to the eni but you know i've created i don't know the eni has changed so i need to grab the eni again and many of you will be like okay what's the tgwe here how do i get it i'll show you in a moment so let's go to interface i think that should be under the ec2 page uh let me just quickly go there now ec2 so page uh, we are looking for the network interfaces network interfaces so so you can see this a bunch of so i have interface for NAT gateway interface for transit gateway that is what we're looking for we can see that we have it in both a and b so what we want to grab is the a where is that a and that is the second one which is this so we want to copy this to the clipboard and we want to i should have opened this to a different tab anyway okay let me just do this to a different tab so to make life easy, so you come over here. So because I still need to go back to that path and copy out the, for the B part. So we see this is a long video and because of a lot of moving parts involved, I think I missed that. Internet and VPN, so yes, got it. So for the hey part, uh, see so I have to come to route table. And from this route table, I have to come to the route, edit route, and the ENI this has to change to that. Now if you if you really want to know that that was what we were talking about, 1435, right? So let's just see. Network interfaces. And we say 1435, you say it's right there. And this should change back to active instead of black hole. So you see it's active instead of black hole and we want to go to the B parts. So let me just click here, it makes life easy. And we do this. So we go back here to copy the B part. We know the B part is the one on top here, but let's just double check. Yes, the one on top here. And we want to copy that as well. Where are you? Copied. And we navigate back here. We put this. And it's 494. So just to be sure. Let's look into phase 494, 494, the one below here. So we click save. So we can see I need to change one more thing, which is this. I need to change this to 88. So we are all set. This is set. The STNO, well, the spoke part is also set because we have the spoke part pointing uh, it to the TGW. So what we have now is to open to a new tab. As we can see, this uh, this is the spoke parts. I have two instances. STNO is A, STNO is B. I quickly had to post the video to launch these instances. I realized that I. I I did not have any instances there. So uh, having these two, you can see the first one is EA is from the EU Central 1A and 1P. So let's see if we can uh, log into this. I have a public IP of, of this. 
I will try to log into both of them at the same time. Just uh, so I hope you can see my screen. So uh, we, we, I don't need to have any instance here because I'm not trying to go to this to the master's account. I'm just trying to go through it to the NAT gateway. So now, so that we can know uh, what we need to test for this. Just flow along with me. The uh, the easy one we have 15.0.1.207. So if we look at easy one here, what is the IP that we have? Let's see if it's in 15. So that we can know that we are logging into the to the right thing. So if I try to ping, because if you look at this, this, uh, this should I? The route table for this, I only I have 0, 0, 002 IQW, right? And I have 82 the TQW. So well first first do I, do I even need to know, do that? I, I, I don't think it matters. I'll just show you the route so that we can know. Let's up over to this place. What is our NAT gateway IP? So for AZ1, what is the IP that we have? 4.221. Bear with me, this is the private IP. And you know, in our gateway, it acts like a proxy, just like a NAT instance. So if uh, an instance is trying to use NAT gateway to go to the internet, it jumps to that IP address of the NAT gateway. Then the NAT gateway terminates the connection, send it over for the particular instance. So that's where we know it's going through the NAT gateway, right? Bear in mind, for 10.0.4.221. That's the private IP of the AZA NAT gateway. So let's first ping it, 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 it. So we see that ping is working successfully. That's good news. But hey, you just told me, Abby, you just told me ping is working. So how, 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 how do I know that the ping is not using the default route table, the default routes to go to the IGW. Okay, so let's do a trace route. I do a trace to exit it. Let's see what happened. Just expand this. The second one is 4.222. It didn't go to let's let's check is the B is a B IP. Is 3.129, right? It didn't go to 3.129. It went straight to that. Let's look at this is AZB, right? This is AZB. If you go to the instance, AZB IP is 2.122. You see, it corresponds with what we have here. So let's ping this also. We see that it's working, right? And let's do a trace route. It trace, ah, oh, come on. Trace route to this. Let's see, which part is it taking? Ah, you see, it's going to the NAT gateway B. This is how you, you see that you're able to achieve so I just try to do the, the trace route again. You see, it still follows that path. And you see, this is working as expected. Still the same, it's working as expected. We know that it's using the NAT gateway. I can, uh, it's using the, it's using the, the, the NAT gateway in the AZA to reach the internet, which is what, this is what we are trying to do. And you can see that it's going to the the CGW route table over there. And uh, I would have loved to do the VPC pairing so that you can see that with this same situation. And maybe that will be the next video I might be putting out there. So that just a follow up to this. So that what if I'm trying? I don't. I don't want to have the spoke account in in frankfurt i want to have it in another region but this region should be peering with the master account and this region 
is not Frankfurt, it can be US, but uh, it can be the US region or it can be the any other region apart from Frankfurt. So with these two work, so I might do that as a as a as another video so that you can just watch after this. But this is I guess this is long enough. But uh, if you think it's it's complex, you can watch the video over and over again for you to just uh, grab it. Let me just bring out the diagram again, and just and you can see it's just exactly how we've put it up here. You can see the the four. Uh, the zero network is the AZ1 and the three dot zero network is the AZ2. That's why you can see four dot two two one, I believe, and three dot one two nine. I can't remember now that we have there, and that's why you can see that it's exactly the same way. And when the traffic is coming back, it knows how to get here via the ENI. You then it send this ENI because it's the ENI, it goes into this, and this knows okay, I know you, you're going back to the TGW ID, and if it's this, everything still comes back here. And the TGW, the return traffic, that's the return traffic. It looks at it, I'm going back to the 15 network for the spoke. So, okay, I'm attached to the, I'm, 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 I'm pointing to the TGW attachment, which is in the spoke. So, okay, I know where it is because it's, or it's, it's the other routable in me, which is the TGW saying that anyway, not me. So, <laughs> So after it checks the first route table, it looks, oh, I see, this is where you're attached. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to the 15 network. Oh, I know how to get you there. Then it, get, it goes back here and the return traffic works. So that's it, guys. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you, so that you can always get more of these updates. And uh, let me know if uh, something uh, on TGW, Direct Connect, uh, a VPN that you would like to see, and I'll be, uh, I'll be happy to to do that for you. So thank you. Have a wonderful time.